Here's five Magento SEO tips that will actually make you more money. Tip number one is blogging with clear intent. Now this isn't just generic blogging advice, I'm talking about creating a virtual silo or a topic cluster as they're also known, around your main keywords. Let's say you're selling washing machines, we wanna create a post for, what size washing machine do I need? We wanna create a post for uh, how long do washing machines last? Who are the best washing machine brands? We wanna create all those different terms that get searched, content around those things, and then we wanna internally link that back to our main category page. The reason for this is simple. We wanna build a bunch of new pages about our topic to create topical relevancy. We wanna create a bunch of internal links to our target page to make it look more important in Google. And we also wanna pick up that extra traffic that there is that we're missing out on right now. We also want to create post targeting best packages and for type keywords with actual products in them. So one of the great things about Magento is you can actually use a widget and pull products in dynamically. This is great if you're in an industry where products don't really last very long, model numbers change and stuff like that, and you're going to end up with a bunch of broken links. If you pull them in dynamically, they'll automatically change and you can set your filters based on price or any different attribute you have set so you might have size weight use whatever it is that people are actually going to be looking by so let's say for example you had targeting a packages keyword uh, or best for example we could say best tents for families and then we could pull ones in that have you know four to six people and a communal area and different things like that we could actually pull those in dynamically now if you're in an industry where they don't change very often that's even better because what you can do is you can talk about the pa the products that are best that you want to push and then actually internally link with the ones that you want and that's going to help you rank those product pages as well so it really helps push sales and also rankings for your product pages the next tip is adding keyword modifiers to your category page titles. So by adding words like buy, order, cheap, deals, online, purchase, free delivery, next day delivery, on finance or sale, you can actually get more rankings for the sort of keywords people type in when they're going to make a purchase. This is something that I personally do with Google Ads and you can tell the conversion rate so much higher when people type in the word like buy or order or cheap or deals, they're actually looking to take action. So we want to get as many of these people on our website as possible. So instead of having your title tag as just like washing machines and then AO.com or whoever you are, what you want to do is actually have something along the lines of like buy washing machines online order now with free delivery. You're going to get better rankings for buy washing machines, washing machines online, washing machines with free delivery, order washing machines. You're going to get a bunch more keywords coming through and it's going to take you a couple of seconds to implement. The next tip is adding keyword optimized content to your category pages. Now this confuses some people because they think nobody's going to read it so there's no point. But Google is going to read it and that's why we're doing this. So you don't want to add this above your products, you want to add it below it so it doesn't interfere with the user experience. Adding it above your products could increase your bounce rate which is going to drop your rankings. So put it way below and I'm talking about underneath the pagination of your category page and then what you want to do is actually add in about 200 to 400 words with some h2 tags in there using different keyword variations transactional modifiers and lsi keywords if you're a bigger company and i'm talking about someone like john lewis or asda or argos then you don't need to put much content in here you, you only need a couple of pa uh, paragraphs but if you're a bit of a smaller company, which you probably are, you're going to need to add a lot more in there. The way that you do this is if you're struggling to figure out what to put, then you want to say about talk about the benefits of what you're selling, what it's going to do for them, how to choose the right one, so a kind of buyer's guide sort of thing, how delivery works at your company, and how they can get in touch with your team if they've got any questions. You also want to make sure this content is unique and not used elsewhere, because if it is, Google's going to ignore it. They're not going to penalize you, but they won't give you any benefit for doing it. If you're in a super competitive industry, you can use a tool like Quora or Page Optimizer Pro, and that's going to give you back the averages of what you need to use in terms of keywords, LSIs, page structure. But if you're in an industry where you haven't really got a well-developed SERP, then you can just go ahead and add 200 to 400 words and then just tweak as it goes to uh, get the best results that way. The next tip is building out filtered category pages on your website. And this is really easy to do in Magento. It's actually one of the best platforms to build these in, so definitely take advantage of it. And what we're basically doing is we're creating pages that pull in just specific versions of a product. So let's say, going back to washing machines, eight kilogram washing machines, 10 kilogram washing machines, Bosch washing machines, quiet washing machines, all the different things that people search for when they actually know what type they want, but they don't really know the specific model that they want. 
These pages do really well in the search because they meet the searcher's intent perfectly. When someone's actually looking for a specific type of product, you can give it back to them. And that's why it does so well. So one of the ways you can find these keywords is using Ahrefs and just putting your competitor's website in. And that's going to bring you back all the main keywords that they get traffic from. You can then have a look at what the URL is and see if they've built out any. That's one way. And that usually works quite well because sometimes you'll find a good company that have done this. If you're in an industry where people haven't really exploited this strategy so well, then you can find keywords using Ahrefs by just putting your seed keyword into the Keyword Explorer and then clicking on phrase match and just going through all the pages. Now there'll be hundreds of different keywords on there, but you might as well just spend the time going through because it's gonna pay off big. The last tip I've got for you today is sending traffic from other sources to your keyword optimized pages to improve your rankings. Now it might sound like something that's a bit hard to understand, but Google actually knows how many people are hitting your website, even if they weren't the middleman. So send traffic to the pages you've optimized for competitive keywords from cheaper ad platforms, email lists, push notifications, social media, etc. to give Google the signals that your page is popular. When Google thinks your page is popular and doing well, they'll move it up for the keyword you've targeted. Just make sure the traffic is good though, because if you send low quality traffic with short session durations, it isn't going to do any good. It needs to be decent to send the right signals. So there you have it, five Magento SEO tips that'll actually make you more money. If you like this video, make sure to like it and comment, and then subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.